So here we go, six year old, lifelong vegan, eating a bloody burger. That is definitely a very unusual way of sitting on a sofa. This is what the pregnant lady has to resort to these days, Daddy Fizz. Oh. Because somebody has just left the sofa, the, the new extra large sofa. No, no, extra, extra, extra large. Yeah, it's a triple XL. I've got no idea who has not built that sofa. Mia, did you not build that sofa? No, you're supposed they to build it, it mate. Oh. Uh, the pregnant lady has to do all of these days. Oh dear. Oh dear. Shall I build it now? No, you have actually been building furniture all week, so I will actually let you off Daddy Fizz. You've been busy, haven't you? What's good Fizz fam? Welcome back to the videos. Yes, we've all been super busy, just basically become DIY extraordinaire. Upon Harriet's instruction, Harriet's kind of the pro, and then we've all been following her instructions. So we've been transforming loads of the house. Mia's room in particular, we've still got to build this sofa. I say we, me. I'm gonna show you what the rest of everyone else is up to. Upstairs, while I run up the stairs, take three seconds to tell us what's good about your day. Ready, go. You writing it yet? You typing a comment? You telling me what's good about your day? Yay! Right, here they are. How's it all going? Tidying up her room already. <laughs> yeah, you've no, made it a mess I, already, haven't you? No, I was tidying up the cupboards here. My room is perfectly fine. Okay, so you're moving into this um, like gas yeah, this cupboard or new, something. This is my new room, guys. The all new gas cupboard. <laughs> Sponsored by Mia's Luck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll leave you in there. Bye. Bye. Oh, you comfy down there, Sienna? Yeah. So if you guys didn't see yesterday's video, Mia has had a huge room transformation. <laughs> oh my goodness me! Which the amazing Harriet has done yesterday. My twin sister! Yeah, the twins, the twins. Oh. Are you right in there, Daddy Fizz? Right, okay. I think Daddy Fizz is now attempting the second IKEA sofa. So guys, fingers crossed this is the correct size. We've ordered a three-seater sofa so we can all sit on it when we do our sit-down videos or videos which require us all to sit on a sofa together as a family. All the videos where we've been sitting down on the sofa, we've been extremely cramped or one of us has had to sit on the floor. So this is gonna be really, really nice that so we're actually gonna have some space. Well, we're still gonna be cramped, me being pregnant, and then obviously there actually being four of us, not three, but it's gonna look good. We did try it out in the shot, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah, and then somehow we just ended up the wrong size one, I just don't know how that happened. So guys, this is a really weird, like, thing, what Ikea provides. It's basically like a sofa that you just fold out and put a cover on. Never seen something like this in my life before. Right, I don't know what I'm doing at all. Okay. But that obviously comes out of there, doesn't it? There are some instructions there. Right, we're gonna, probably going to have to put legs on it. Legs? Legs, and then I guess that just slides in the back, and then we put a cover on it. Okay, that Let's looks nice and, nice and simple. You can do this, Daddy Fizz. I believe in you, okay? Don't mock me. Don't mock me. Ta-da! Here we have one extra, 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 extra large sofa. But now we need... The, the cover. cover. The cover, that's So cool. this is so weird guys, you need to actually put the cover on the sofa. I feel like this is gonna be quite simple, but imagine if we put it on wrong and then it's stuck like it forever. Right, careful. <sighs> careful Daddy Fizz, do you need a hand for that or are you okay? I'm done. What are you on about? I just oh, turned oh. it over. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this is the Family Fizz sofa, <laughs> naked. Yes. Now we need to get him dressed. One hour later. Ta-da! The Toby sofa is now dressed. Ah, How did you that get off? Weird, like a massive finger workout, which really <laughs> ate you. You had to tuck it all in, guys. All it the was covering. really baggy, and you have to tuck it all in, but that's obviously then what makes it tight. There's Velcro underneath, and you can put this in the wash. Oh, wow. I'm basically just a salesperson for these sofas. The old new building at home sofa. To be honest, it doesn't just look that much bigger. Just many old dollars. Doesn't look that much bigger, you cheeky girl. Go and face the wall. It's like that much bigger. Yeah, it's only a little bit bigger, but I it's think big I'm enough for one more person. Of us to fit on it now. Yeah, it's that looks more family size. Yeah. I'm um, sorry to say this, Daddy Fizz, but um, these are left over. I don't know what they were for. They're um, like ear holders. Oh no, I know what they're for. 
what? Headbands. What about this? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't do that. Sihana! Sihana! Wow, Fizz Fam, check out the finished studio room. One extra, 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 extra large sofa. No climbing on it, Sienna. Cushions. It's just for show. Sienna, it's just for show. We're not even allowed to look at it. Sienna. I actually Mom did used like to be one of those mums where when you clean the house up, then you, you don't want anybody to live in it because you want it to stay like that. That's the thing when you're a mum, you spend hours cleaning, then it gets ruined. But this studio room is actually going to be kept as a non-living space and it's to make really good fun videos for you guys. So this is it, it's pretty much done. We're gonna get a couple of canvas prints on the wall. We're thinking of family fizz themed ones, you know, like motivational ones which reflect the whole fizz fam community of having fun and being positive. And um, we'll probably get one there. Oh yeah. Barbie. It's looking really, really good. I'm really happy with it. I love it. What do you think of it, Raven Raven? He likes it. And what do you think of the room, Scaredy Cat? <coughs> oh, okay, fair enough, okay. Fizz fam, we're gonna show you the funniest thing in the whole entire universe. It requires Molly and the massage chair. Come on, Molly, this way. Come on, get on the Molly's Molly. <laughs> basically, I came in here earlier and I was like, what's going on here? And basically, this was what was happening. Molly, sitting on the massage chair, getting a little massage. Look, she was actually leaning up against it though. You do, you get her to lean up against it, Harriet. She loves massages and yeah. pampers. Obviously, I always put cucumber on their eyes at home. <laughs> there you go, Miles. There you go, you enjoy a little massage. You like that, Molly? Oh, she no. keeps turning around to look at it because she thinks oh. somebody's behind her. <laughs> But did, did uh, like there she goes, she's did enjoying like it now. <laughs> After Daddy Fizz has finished building that tiresome IKEA furniture, I think he needs some meat. He needs some bloody meaty meat. IKEA <laughs> builders so need delicious. their meat. Men need their meat. They carry so, don't they? Are you ready to meet some to meat? To become a man! Yeah, you need some meat. Yeah. Do you want some meat today? Some meaty, bloody, juicy meat? Okay. If you're wondering what's going on right now and you're like, am I watching the right channel? Yeah. Basically, we're gonna be going to try the new No Bull Burger, which means there is no bull in that burger. It is not bull in that burger. So we're gonna be going to try, well, you're actually a fully fledged meat eater, aren't you? So this could be interesting for you as well, because today we're gonna to be trying the No Bull Burger, which is actually in a UK supermarket at the moment. So excited for this. And apparently it bleeds and tastes like real meat. You probably wonder why people who don't eat meat, why would they want to eat something which bleeds and tastes like meat? Well, we're family fizz, we're very experimental, and we like to do challenges as well. So today we're gonna to be trying that out. And then obviously how it can give us her honest opinion and see if it tastes like the real deal. Well, I've tried a lot of vegan burgers and that with you guys, and they've actually been really nice. And one of them, I can't remember what it was, but it was actually better than a normal chicken. Ooh! Yeah, I really liked it. How Ooh. do you feel about this, Sienna? Yeah, because you've never ever had meat in your mouth they ever bleed. before. They bleed. The burgers bleed. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds genuinely gross. It sounds gross, so it sounds doesn't it? weird and gross. What do you think of it? Do you want to try some of this um, no bull, uh, meaty, juicy, bloody burger? Does that appeal to your canine taste buds? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Right. Into the mist as usual. And then also how it fizz. How it fizz. <laughs> and also my sister. If you probably wondered who Harry is, it's my sister from my Pugalicious life. She's came to stay with us for the weekend because she did Mia's makeover, and she's brought a little one of her pugs with her this weekend, Molly. And she's actually said, she said, you don't go book one of those poop mobiles. I'm gonna drive you around. So Harry, hey, well, you get yeah. to drive. I know, but we yeah, thought the park the park I love it. This is getting better and better, guys. Yeah. We oh. thought that you might like to go on a bit of a tour. Like you're driving yeah. us. Okay, and so. you're the driver, but we give you a tour. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. yeah. You might crash though. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, look at that. I'm like, whoa. Okay. <laughs> we'll go nice and slowly and we'll show you all the sights of yeah. Brighton, because Brighton uh -huh. is pretty cool.
Part one of the Toby tour of Brighton. Here we have the level. This is the level, Harriet. Harriet yeah. Fizz, our driver. The level here. Oh Lots of grass. Left. left here, left here. <laughs> then you also have to open the window occasionally. Just give a little. <laughs> Next up on our Toby tour of Brighton. Molly has actually fallen asleep. So we have to be very quiet. <laughs> You're learning well, driver. Did she wake up? Yeah. Yeah. Is she, is she immediately? Are you right, Molly? I feel kind of me. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. Sorry, Miles. And then next here we have the Brighton Pier, where we also do occasional. And over here we have the i360 and basically Harriet it's a space rocket that people take to Mars basically it goes slowly up and then it gets faster and faster and faster until it comes off and then it flies to space yeah to Mars. it's a UFO yeah, so yeah it's cool. a UFO someone captured it it's yeah. an actual UFO seriously. I didn't know that yeah And that concludes our cringe level 9000 tour of Brighton. Now we're going to find some burgers made Bobby! up of cabbages. Bobby! Bobby! Where's the meat? Find the meat. Find the meat. Find the meat. 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 Oh, oh yeah. Got to grow yeah. muscles just looking at it. <laughs> it's right there, Terry. That's right. <laughs> what did you say, Terry? What? I just feel like that suits that voice. <laughs> when you when you say that voice, that just reminds me of a Terry. It's a very a Terry. Terry voice. Okay. Fizz fam, Daddy Fizz is now going to be called Terry, okay? okay. Terry! <laughs> Terry! Right, I've got six packs. Wow. That's good. Wow. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Are they all for you? Yeah. In the creation station now, we've got the oven all fired up, heating up here. We've got some corn on the cobs cooking. We've got some buns. We've got some. Buns and oven? Some buns in two ovens, and then we're going to be trying these bovine free beasts. See what I did there? I just stood there for five minutes coming up with those three words, and now I feel really proud of myself. We're going to be trying them in about 10 minutes time, so stay tuned. Woo! There's going to be blood everywhere, apparently. Yeah, is that for me? Is that my round of applause? <laughs> Sienna doesn't even know why we're clapping, do you? <laughs> that, that wasn't actually why we were clapping, but don't worry about that. Girls, are you ready? Yes! And that one I had to see if they were cooked in the middle, so they don't come in twos, but look. Ew! Well, can you smell that? It actually does smell a bit like beef, if that makes sense. It does! Oh, I don't know if I like it. Right. You two are going to have to try first, okay? Because um, okay. I, I don't dare. Does that look appetizing, Zena? Right, okay, so here nope. we go, Fizz Fam. This is the No Bull Burger, which apparently bleeds. It definitely Ew. does. Do you know what, though? I have been told that the beetroot in it is what makes it bleed. So oh, if you want okay. more freaky science that is, it's apparently just beetroot. But it still looks very realistic, doesn't it? Yeah. So we'll put a piece of cheese on for you girls. Thank you. Yeah, we'll put a little bit of relish in the thing. Ooh. We've got to make it authentic, don't we? Yeah. We need to make it like a proper burger. A little bit of lettuce. Mm. Ooh, look at me being on the burger connoisseur. And then a little bit of, oh, I think they go on top of that, don't they? Yeah. So little gherkins in there, little pickles, as you say in the US. Right, there we go. Do you want a double? Yeah. Do you want to go to the dance side yeah. and get a double? Yeah, what's mine? What's mine? So here we go, six year old, lifelong vegan. <gasps> eating a bloody burger. Did you get any burger in then? Mm-hmm. Yeah? What does it taste like? Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next in our panel round of reviews, we've actually got a certified omnivore here <laughs> who's going to be trying one of these bloody burgers. That actually looks really yummy, but it's all about the taste, so. No pressure, find a vegan stone at me. <laughs> it tastes like kind of meaty. <laughs> does it? Yeah. <laughs> How realistic does it taste? <laughs> it tastes okay. like barbecued and like pulled pork to me. Right. That's, That's actually really nice. How realistic is it? 
10. Wow. Wow. I would, wow. Wait, uh, I would have these again rather than beef burgers. Wow. Yeah. Could someone trick you with that? If I made, someone made that for you and you thought that was a beef burger, would you be like, hang on a minute, someone's fishy here? Uh, if I looked at it, I probably could tell. Or I might have... I guess if you like teared it up so it looked like pulled pork, I reckon I would have thought it was pulled oh, pork. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, let's let the teenager try. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> Going through all the emotions. It tastes really irony. Does it? Really? Oh, wow. it actually tastes like blood. Uh, wow, that's weird. That right. sounds gross. Okay, then. Right. I'm going to try just yeah. the burger. Wow, that looks quite good. Look at it. Though. It's all actually oh. looks kind of... Ready? It's weird. That's really strange, isn't it? I know what Mia means. I know it? what you mean as well. It does taste meaty, like but then it also tastes bloody. It does taste bloody, doesn't it? You've got it's so weird. weird. They've really gone to effort to make it it's taste so bloody, weird. haven't they? Yeah. Weird. But it's actually 100% plant based. So yeah. They've done a good job here. If you want to like science, mm. literally science. How clever is that? It's nice, but weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be the end of our video here. We're now going to be recording a video for Harriet's channel, <laughs> aka My Puggalicious Life. We're going to be opening up all this stuff. So say bye to the Fizz fam. Bye.